Okay, I have a fun, fun day planned for us today. It is all things spring because my mom and I are finally gonna go get some plants together. I told you it was gonna be dangerous when my mom moved to town because now I have a thrifting buddy that I can go to garage sales and stuff with. And there is no stop in the two of us when we go to a garden center. So my mom's been wanting to do this for a long time, but we've been having like random frost here in Oregon. And so it's kind of put a damper on our little, you know, garden plants. But today is gonna be really nice, like in the low 70s, and it's so beautiful already outside. This weekend, I got the balcony pressure washed. I got a new pressure washer for myself. I told you my 40th birthday is coming up, and I was joking with my mom because when you get older and you start like upgrading home appliances or buying yourself a tool and you're really excited about it, I'm like, okay, that's how I know that I have grown up now because I'm so excited about my pressure pressure washer. I just love it. I love like that instant gratification and like cleaning something real good. And so I got this all cleaned up now, but um, we might have like rain on the way. So I didn't put all the cushions outside yet, but I have my little fountain going and stuff and it sounds really nice. But I wanted to show you this outfit because I mentioned like kind of sharing more outfit ideas. And I've also been letting you know that I've I've been wanting to be like a little bit more comfortable with my clothing and I realized that I'm a person that is very much um, sensitive to the way things feel. Like whether it's decorating in my house, it's got to feel right. Whether it's clothing I'm putting on my body, it's got to feel good on me too. I got to be comfortable and it's got to be a nice fabric. You know, it's like all the things have to like fall into their little boxes. <laughs> but this season, somebody's going to have to cut me off from wide leg pants because I can't stop wearing these. And I got this really cute top. This top is so adorable. It's like a little wrap top style. And I got this from Thread Up and I just thought it was so cute cute for spring because the colors are beautiful. I love like the little ruffled sleeves and the fact that it's like a wrap style. It's kind of nice. It's very comfortable because you can adjust that part of it. But I'm really happy to say that Thread Up has partnered with me on this video and it's like so perfect because it's all things spring. So I want to show you the other pieces that I got. I mean, look at all the cute spring things that I scored. These beautiful florals. They've got some really, really cute pieces on there right now. And you know, that's what I think is really cool about thrifting your fashion. You know, you're saving pieces that could otherwise be in a landfill and you're breathing new life life into them and you're putting your style spin on them and plus it's really fun to get really amazing bargains and it's earth month right now so it's a total win-win to be thrifting. I got the matching pants to this top and they're really cute. More wide leg pants I know but my thought was like with a separate like this I can wear them with a jean or I can wear like the pants to match with it or wear like a different color tank with these pants entirely. These are on the thinner side. I'm probably gonna save these for when it gets a little bit warmer, maybe even the summer months, but they were such a good deal. My top even was, it was $20.99. So if you use my code Selena right now, you get 35% off your first order in free shipping at ThreadUp. It's like the perfect time to find some really cute pieces for spring and they have a ton of cute stuff on there right now. Okay, I'm trying this on for you too. I got this really adorable set. I told you more wide leg pants. I am so glad that this is a trend. I'm not normally someone who is like, oh, a trend. Like I have to try that. But the wide leg pant thing, I am all into this. Everyone should be <laughs> wearing these pants. <laughs> but these are free people and they have the really cute little like ruffle detailing all along the side and along the bottom. I thought that was really sweet. And then the print is super beautiful, like a gorgeous floral and there's little butterflies mixed in. And then this little top too. This is another piece that um, I could wear, you know, as a set with the wide leg pant or wear this, you know, with shorts or like a long maxi skirt or something like that. I've really been focused this year on if I'm going to get something new for my wardrobe, I want to get like multi-wear out of it. I don't want it to be like a one and done piece. I want to be able to get lots of usage out of it, if that makes sense. I always get something for my mom on there too. She has really been wanting like some tops that are a super bold floral print. And she scored on this one such a great price. It has like this really nice black backdrop. And I was trying to tell my mom, I was like, no, wear more color, mom, you need to wear color. And so she found this like really bold floral that she loves and it's a nice longer length. And then it's also a super soft cotton. So it looks like a t-shirt, but it's also super cute and dressy. And my mom looks adorable in it. But then these jeans, oh my gosh. Okay, if you are a gardener like me, 
this brand and these these literally they look like new they just arrived i'm excited because these are a different color than the ones i already, than I already had <laughs> but this brand doer brand jeans these are the most phenomenal like women's workwear jeans and even if you're not working on anything and you just want to be comfortable i'm telling you these jeans are like really amazing quality but they're also super expensive retail so i totally suggest like checking them out at thread up for a really great price on them but i just want to show you the seaming really quick because because they have a double seaming like on the inside part of the, dare I say crotch, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Like that reinforced seaming right here. So these jeans are made for like bending and picking things up. So they have stretch in them, but they hold their stretch. You don't end up like all saggy and weird, right? So look up this do, it's like spelled like that doer. You're gonna love these jeans and thread up's the place to get them because I think they're like over a hundred dollars new and you can get them like super discounted through them. So anyhow, that was a fun little haul. I um, need to go downstairs, grab my keys, my water because my mom and I are gonna go look at plants and we might do a little bit of thrifting today too because we always end up doing that together. <laughs> We're at the Habitat in Beaverton right now and this one is huge. I haven't been here in so long. It's super organized here. They have tons of things, brand new furniture, brand new fixtures mixed with vintage. Look at this beautiful table over here, mom. Isn't that pretty? $95. Oh, it's a desk with this leather top. I like desks. They're skinny and like mine. But yeah, but for a neat like entry table, wouldn't that be pretty? Gorgeous. Okay, we're looking for some tile for my mom's kitchen for like a trimming. Yeah, it looks like, ooh, those are neat though. Green. That would be pretty. Yeah. Oh, there's another box up here too. Mm -hmm. $5 for the whole box, mom. Those are cool, that length. We have a ton of the green. What about, what's this look like? Hey, this could work and it's beveled right here. Look. Right there. That's what you want in yes. these little ones. Yeah, so much right there, but. Please don't open the boxes and tile. We do not sell individual pieces. Okay, fine. $44 for one box. Oh, yeah, green over there. Look at these glittery ones. Those are funny. See, I could cut two. Yeah. Ones. That color is more friendly <laughs> than this. This one's kind of pretty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's chalkware. Thought it was metal. I was like, that would have been cool if he was metal. Yeah, and chalkware would be neat if you had a new little room. It's really pretty, though. 15. See, I like even old lamps have neat detail mm -hmm. like that at the top. Have a big globe at the top? Yeah. F or a fringe lampshade. Look at those shades. They're gold. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at these. Four dollars. Mom, these are so expensive. All these little... Oh, they have a whole... If you're doing, a, like, a little chandelier. This, like, wickery rattan is so trendy right now. Four dollars. I bet if you bought these online, they'd be, like, 20 bucks a piece. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that would be cool if you painted it nicer, huh? Yeah. It's kind of a fun, fun shape to it. $30. Oh, that'd be cool in your living room, Mom, in the corner. How much is that one? Oh, $145. Must be a brand new one. There's some bamboo pole lamps. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Look at the bamboo pole ones. Yeah, those are neat. That one's a little bent, huh? <laughs> What's in these big long boxes? Probably track lights. Oh, yeah. That's pretty neat though. Look at all these clamshell. Oh, they're glass. Wow, those are really nice. Look yeah. at the chrome and the gold clamshell. And they're brass. Yeah, and they feel clamshell. good quality. They're $2 for poles. Wow. Good deals. Yeah. Like if you were just doing a bathroom vanity where you only need a couple, you know? Those are really nice though. It's brushed brat. Wow. Those are really nice. Well, what's it say on the thing here? 
knobs and pulls. I don't know. It doesn't have towel bar on there. $15. 15 Wow. Oh, wow. What's that? These look like caps to fencing, and they put them in the hardware department. You know, like the iron fencing? Mm -hmm. This is like what oh, I want to do. Wanna do yeah, okay. at the beach house to hide the icky posts around the balcony. Well, I got a bunch of corners here. Yeah, but I, have, I need a lot. But this is like the idea because you just the stack screen. them around. I just found this um, piece of pottery. It's really wow. different looking. It's artist signed on the bottom. But I can't, I tried like the Google search thing and I can't find the artist yet, but it looks like special the way it's finished inside. I don't know. I have like a feeling about this that it might be like really amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a chance and then I'll get home and do like research on it. But it feels, it feels like a quality thing. You know what I mean? How yeah. sometimes you just have to like go on it. Well, that, that has like three different lasers on it. So they yeah. took their time to do all kinds of fancy lasers. Yeah. Uh, and that's all carved into the side. It's not just a picture. It's carved in. And even the bottom like here is really well yeah. done. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, you, you wouldn't even have to use that for a pot to put a plant in. You could use it for a salad bowl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be pretty salad. Yeah. Have your countertops have your pretty yeah. I'm in a chance. I feel like it's special. Yeah. Uh, you had a good <laughs> feeling. My mom just spotted some beautiful mirrors. Oh, wow. That would be a neat bathroom. Whoa, that's really big though. I don't think that's too big for our bathroom. For that one downstairs? Yeah. How big is your downstairs one though? $55 though. Wow. Yeah. These probably came from dressers, huh? Yeah. That big. Ooh, there are more. Oh, wow. This one's a really big one. 55 too. Yeah. Well, it looks like they're all 45 or 55. Wow. Yeah, look at all the artwork here too. Oh, totally. Yeah. Yeah, why would you go to like Home Depot and get the mirror if you could get something really nice? No offense, Home Depot. <laughs> Boy, it's getting rowdy in here. <laughs> People are getting wild. Look at all the light fixtures in here too. This is an awesome store. Is that a watercolor? Oh, no, oh yeah. Framed. Edition. Somebody signed it. Framed. Leanne Pearson. That They just put this out today, too. In the tropics. That's yeah. cool. Looks like those tie-dye t-shirts you like. Yeah. Somebody get this lady some plants. <laughs> My favorite shopping. <laughs> Slynn is more into the stuff end of the shopping world. Yeah, right. And I'm into plants. <laughs> now we're at my kind of shopping. No, everyone knows I love plants because I learned it from you. Yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite time of year. We were talking about the favorite times of year people like, and mine's spring. I love spring because I can go to the nurseries. And guess what we don't we don't have today? My husband. <laughs> yeah, a second opinion because we don't need one. Because <laughs> yeah, last year when he came, he was like, you need to get that? Yeah. Why they're are you like, getting two of those for? Well, then they ask you, they're all, where are you going to put that? I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Like, we, like I, I was saying, I needed uh, five and five. And there was, it was Selena that had to say, well, if you get too many, I said, there's never too many. Yeah. <laughs> we can always find a place to put a plant. Just cram them in. We can make it look lush. Nice. No one ever said there are too many plants here. No, no, no. not in my yard. Yeah. Except Dad. <laughs> <laughs> we left him home with the dogs today. <laughs> this is a lady's day. Love you. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> we went out for lemonades and we're ready oh, for yeah. the nursery. We got our Costco lemonades today. Yeah, 68 cents at Costco. We went to Habitat. We looked at those tiles, but my mom decided she don't need a whole case of tile. Yeah, that so was like 20 of them, and I only need like five, five or, or six. six. Yeah, and then I'd have all these tiles left overnight. I'm at the point in my life is I don't want to store little dabs of things anymore. Yeah, like leftover projects. When, when I lived out in the country, I had a barn to put them in, so then I don't mind. Just and cram it full. Just cram it full. <laughs> <laughs> but now in town, it's like I'm in a double car garage and I don't like to look like a mess when I open my door. All right, let's focus, Mom. Focus. Plant. Plant. What are we getting? What are you wanting? I'm looking for Shasta daisies, and I like lavenders because at my last house, I had a really pretty mm. thing I loved around my walkway of my patio when you first walk into the my entryway, I guess it's called. You're like your little courtyard. Courtyard. Yeah. And I had it lined by lavender and uh, Shasta daisies. And, and by 
June, they were beautiful. beautiful. It was like, and it lasted all summer long. And then the winter, like a, about, was it October when I cut them all down? Mm -hmm. And I mean, it, they're so forgiving, those plants. They're, if you want to plant, because I'm into plants that you can kind of, you don't, can be rough with. Yeah, you don't yeah. have to babysit. And you know, like I'd weed eat sometimes and knock a lamb off. And, you know, yeah. and, and this is like something you could just cut down to like this tall right before winter. And it come back yeah, three feet tall the next year. Yeah, they're so easy. Yeah. I love that, stuff like that. I liked that. it, yeah. I need grasses and we want guara, the whirling butterfly. Oh my God. So I saw that on uh, Instagram. I saw this video. Pete's like... You just got influenced by a plant influencer. Like, yeah. <laughs> but so it blows, the way it blew in the wind, it was like my thing. Anything that like moved in the wind, I still am all Dancing. into it. Oh, I love that. And what was that one plant I wanted that died? That's what you want. Oh, that's a guara? Guara, yeah. So then an I influenced my mom yeah, as, she influenced as an influencer. <laughs> but I, I, I lost did. one. I bought four last year and I lost one. So yeah. I need to buy one this year. Other. And I want some for the beach house. I want like weird grasses. Yeah, get those one oh, mixture of Russian. tornadoes. Okay, we need to get out of the car. We've been talking about yeah, plants. Yeah, we, right we need to go. Jeez, we gotta go. All right, we are at Forest Landscape. This is in Cornelius, just outside of Hillsboro, if you're local, but it's a wholesale nursery, but they're open to the public. They have really great prices. We come here quite often. They don't have a big of a selection as like a like a retail nursery would have, but the stuff they do have is typically what we like, and the prices are really good here. Do you want me to get a cart now? Or? Yeah. I feel, yeah, we need a cart, Mom. My mom said her limp got better today all of a sudden. She's at the nursery, and so <laughs> nothing's going to slow this lady down. Oh, I don't know what these are. I do want to get pampas grass if they have big pots. Oh, this rock crest, is, that's that pretty stuff Mom I was telling you about that really creeps and comes back over here. A gone. It's like a golden color. Pastas. Is it, what are those ones called? Herbivore? Not a herbivore. Herbivore? <laughs> no. <laughs> what are they? Heli, heli, helibore. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> this lady's struggling with her empty cart here. Oh, these grasses are great, Mom. These, I have two of these in pots. These look so pretty. They get real full and they're bright lime green like this and they come back every year. That's what you need then around your thing. I wonder if these are deer resistant. I need to look up because that would be cool. Waterside plant. That'd be good along the little creek. Spreads by rhizomes. What's that? It's mm -hmm. like a, like a, not like a tuber. It's like a root system. I don't know, I'll have to Google that and see if they're deer resistant. Watch out, this lady doesn't run over my feet. <laughs> this, this crazy, crazy plant lady. Yeah, that's what I was wanting to see. <laughs> oh, they're irises. Variegated yellow flag iris. I wish you could get butterfly bushes still and they're illegal. Mm -hmm. See those for sure. I think we need to look on the underground plant market on Marketplace for those. <laughs> the lavenders that they had all of them and I got two 
rosemaries, which I want to try. Have you ever done rosemary hair rinse? Did you do that in the 70s? I did it in rosemary in the uh, bathtub. It's your smell. Ooh, good. I like that. Put it in your bathtub. Or in the shower, like hanging over the yeah, shower. Oh, I'm going to do that. I put that. lavender in the, bath in the shower, too. Oh, I need to get on it. That's what I'm going to do this year is one of those rosemary rinses. Everyone was telling me that's really good for your hair. And then we got the Australian rose or Australian mint. I read that it's really good for um, being a deer resistant plant. So it'll be for, for, for the beach spot. <laughs> My mom has the most thrifty tip ever. I, we were checking out the register because I got the snapdragons and she saw all these plants that are like half dead. She's like, what are you going to do with those? He's like, I don't know. We're going to throw them away. She's like, can I have a and so we just gave all of the plants to my mom. And they are, they're like half dead, but we know how to nurse things. They're still good, they this, just got smashed and everything. Yeah, this is delphinium here, and I was telling my mom she should get it. This comes back easy. I don't know what this one is, but it we looks cool. We'll try it. And then there's a ton of poppies that look like they just need to be watered. Like they're it's so like dry. Smashed them. Yeah, and they don't have, they haven't had water in like a month. These come back every year, you know, those will come back for sure. Thrifty Mama, Sheila's sassy tips. Sheila's. The only time I'm forward, uh, forward on buying stuff is at nurseries. Yeah. Uh, ooh, I want that. <laughs> okay, so you know how when you're thrifting or if you're a garage shell and you go, oh my gosh, this thing is so cool, and people like swarm on you. Yeah. So we were that we experienced this at the nursery. That, so that purple plant I was just sharing. Yeah. I was turning around because my mom and I are trying to find the best stock and this lady runs over and she pulls the tag like out of the plant while I'm looking at she's all oh and she's reading me all about the plant that like I'm I'm going to get and she's like oh you're getting that like <laughs> it's in my hands <laughs> and then that last nursery I don't know maybe we're just getting kind of punchy around people well, that, that's when I said oh look at this and I turned around this lady was like five feet from me then I turned around again, she was three feet from Oh, me. she was shopping with you. Yeah, <laughs> she turned around again, she was like right next to me. I was like, holy man. And I turned around and I was like, I gotta move. Okay, so I'm back home now. And before I get into plants, I wanted to show you some of the things that I thrifted. Well, I thrifted like two things, but um, that habitat is really great. That's the big one in Beaverton. I think it's off of Hawken Road. So if you live in Washington County, that, that habitat is phenomenal. It's massive. As we were checking out, my mom saw this like locked case over to the side where they have more like valuable or breakable things and I got four of these plates they're all different but they all have the authenticity certificates aren't those beautiful it looks like a painting almost I bet these are all hand painted but they're signed and it has authenticity like little certificates and I love that their wings like the plate itself is shaped like an angel isn't that beautiful I and mean, even the coloring with my plant in here is like stunning I couldn't believe these were in such perfect condition. So pretty. I just imagine these like, I'm someone who loves to keep my hand lotion and like lip balm and things like that next to the bed. Like just to have a beautiful little dish like this or to put your, your necklace on at the end of the day to have, I don't know, your jewelry all special on one of these little dishes. These are so beautiful. I mean, I, I even love the flowers. Like this one has like big fox gloves. Isn't that pretty? That was a good spot of my mama's. <laughs> but I'm probably gonna have these up on my website, thevintagebombshell.com. I've been trying to work on that this month to get more things up there for you. And these are so beautiful. And they would, I think they'd make like a really pretty gift too, but I don't know if I would wanna give one away. <laughs> so we are running around all day and stuff. And I don't know if you can hear my voice is like kind of cutting out, but I, have really bad allergies today and here we are looking at plants and all these things and my my eyes burn I'm losing my voice and I need to go root around in the cupboard and see if I can find an allergy pill because we have all these like um they're like the cherry blossom trees that are blooming and they're beautiful this time of year but they give someone like me the allergies <laughs> So bear with me, <laughs> but um, I did get this really beautiful bowl. This just felt special. I mean, all of the pattern around this is all hand done. Look at that. It's not, um, it's not like a, a mold this was done in. These are all hand 
etched, hand carved little designs in here. And I just thought this was neat. Like the shape is cool because it's like geometric. Does, it almost looks like a Japanese type pottery design. Maybe I should do some research and see. The pattern on the bottom here is so beautiful even. Like this is all textured. Somebody really cared about this design when they created it. But I just, you know, I'm always a person that like goes on how I feel like I mentioned about like clothing and and decorating and especially especially when you're out thrifting like half the time I don't know what things are but I know that I think it's cool or I know I think it's beautiful and you get home and you research and I think that's what the most fun is about thrifting you don't have to be a literal know-it-all out there in the world <laughs> that's what's fun is like you find this piece and you're like, oh my gosh, you look it up and you're like, I knew it was cool. It was really valuable. And you know, and that's how you learn too. If you're just getting new into the thrifting world, um, don't be intimidated and think that you have to be a know-it-all in this world <laughs> to find anything because you can just go out there with a good eye and good instinct, you know, and these things kind of pop up. And for me, I feel like this might be something that could be really valuable. So I will keep you updated on what I find out about it. We went to Costco as well. Well, and I wanted to show you these because the the solar lights that I shared with you in our early beach house videos, they sold out of them. That maybe they'll get them again this year. I don't know, but Costco has a bunch of these right now. If they have them online, I'll look for you and I'll put them in the description box and link them. But I got one box of these so far and I put them along the driveway, but these are the um, Tommy Bahama lights and they have 30 lumens on the solar lights. So if you're looking at like garden lights for yourself, always look at the lumens cause that will tell you how bright and like how much wattage the solar lights will have. So um, you wanna get, you know, of course like as high as you can get <laughs> so you can actually see. So I feel like a lot of these things, um, they're like these dumb little plastic lights that hardly glow at all, you know? And I was kind of looking for something that could really light up you know, a walkway so you can see where you're going at night. These were really great. And uh, so I got two more boxes. I got another box for up there. And then I was thinking here, I could put them on either side of our steps at night because we don't have lights out by the sidewalk and stuff. So I don't want anyone to trip. <laughs> so this will light up the steps really nicely and they're under 40 bucks, which is awesome for solar. was so beautiful. I've never heard of this plant before. And I know I have some Australian subscribers. So if you have Australian mint near you, please um, let me know your care tips for these. Like when, when do you prune them down? Do you prune them down? Do you fertilize yours? I really don't know anything about this one. So I'm gonna have to do some research on it, but it grows here in our planting zone and has this really beautiful minty smell. Like if you just kind of run your fingers along. It's a little bit of a, um, like a sharper mint. It's not like spearmint or anything. It's a little sharper of a smell, like a little more of like, you know, like a verbena would smell. It's kind of like that to me. I just thought this was so pretty. It's very fluffy, just covered in flowers. So when I was in that nursery, I did a quick little Google to see if it was deer resistant because I was really looking for things that I could bring up to the beach house. Cause I kind of cleared a little spot where I can have some low maintenance plants and I have to have plants and color. It's just, that's in me. Um, and, but I want things that are really easy to maintain and of course resistant for the deer and elk and stuff. And this set it was so yay and plus it'll be a really easy big splash of color there and this little planter i don't know what i'm gonna plant this year i just got some snapdragons oh i want to show you those that's there's like a new variety i got i, I didn't know there were uh different varieties of snapdragons so i have to show you these because maybe 
you'll learn something too on this one. <laughs> okay, so we went to Fred Meyer because my mom really wanted to get Shasta daisies and we couldn't find them at any of the nurseries around. And I know we're early on stuff. Um, so I'm gonna take her to Farmington Gardens, I think next week, because there are some grasses, like some really cool native grasses I wanna get for at the beach house and stuff. And I think that they, they will have them. It's like a bigger nursery with lots of like really cool varieties. But when we were looking at flowers, like at the grocery store, there were a couple different snapdragon varieties that I hadn't heard of before. So this is like the standard snapdragon, I guess, snapshot. And I love yellow, like yellow snapdragons are so pretty and cheery. They just get really full and they're no maintenance. So I got those and I was looking at these, it said they were snapdragon and you can see that like the leaf is different. So I was like, what variety is that? So this is the rocket bronze. And I think that the, that's just the color, but this variety, the yellow variety grows to 10 inches tall. And it said that this variety grows to 30 inches tall and was excellent for cut bouquets. I was like, now we're talking. <laughs> Hello. So I got uh, two packs of six on these. I always just get the smaller ones. They were $3.99. Snapdragons grow so fast. There's not really any need to buy the big $10 thing if you can just like be patient and give it a little bit of fertilizer and stuff. But this is my be my first time growing these like really tall ones. And so I'd love to be able to cut like a pretty Snapdragon bouquet. For years I grew these and I kept fertilizing them. They, I was like, why are they so short and bushy? I didn't realize that it was, that was the variety. And then there was a special one for, for the cut bouquets, but now I know. And then all of these I got to bring with me to the beach house. I got uh, two rosemaries and these are, oh my gosh, they're root bound and ready to go in the ground. So I've never grown rosemary and I know it's like pretty hardy and it's like somewhat invasive because I've seen like some of our neighbors have it and they're massive. So I think that this will be a really great one for me to grow because it won't be something that I'll have to baby at all. And it'll be nice like if we do, you know, barbecue chicken or something, I can put rosemary on it or stews. And then I also really want to try that rosemary hair rinse because I had so many subscribers rate me and tell me that that's so good for your hair. And I've never done that before. So if you have any like tips or you've made it yourself, like let me know. Some people boil it, I think. Some people make like a tea. I'm not sure, quite sure how you do it. But if, if you have, let me know in the comments, please. I'd love to hear how you make your special hair rinse. But I got two of these and I just thought these would be nice too because I'll have some color in there in the garden as well. And then one of our our neighbors. It didn't take me long to find a fellow plant geek in the neighborhood. It's so funny, like Pete found guys that work on the fire department and then I found the, the fellow plant geek in the neighborhood. <laughs> we geeked out about plants and I was asking her different things that she grows in her garden. And she said that anything like really fragrant that the deer and elk will not bother. Said she had a bunch of lavender. I was like, I didn't know lavender would be okay here. So I got how many did I get of these ones? Three of these English lavender, French lavender or whatever. I like this variety better than the Spanish one. The Spanish lavender is really pretty, but it doesn't seem to have quite as much fragrance throw as the English or the um, French lavender, like the skinnier ones. So anyways, got a bunch of these. So that'll be so easy to grow. And then next time I go up, I just got to bring soil with me so everything will get good and established. I wanted to show you the garden this time of year because it's, uh, nothing to be desired and so i wanted you to see how like it really like kind of dies down and then comes very very full in the um, summer months but right now like the only color i have going on are camellias did really well this year the one over on this side is super full of lots of blooms and stuff but last year i only got one bloom on my camellia one flower and I thought, oh, maybe they don't like it in these pots. So I fertilized them a couple times and we have so many flowers this year. So I think that's the secret. I just, I really have to remember that these need nutrients cause they're in a pot here. But I wanted to tell you too, I got these two pots. I have one on each side, the pergola at Home Goods. And my mom and I went there this morning. They have all kinds of garden stuff right now. So if you want to get some pretty pots or new cushions for your garden and stuff, they have really cute prints, really beautiful pots, no matter what your style is, Victorian, mid-century, that beautiful Mexican pottery, terracotta ones, and their prices are so much better than the garden centers and stuff. So that's why I got our two giant ones here. I don't know what, like, what would that be at the garden center? Like $300 probably. And I think at Home Goods they were like $80 for those. So anyhow, I just wanted to tell you because their garden stuff goes really fast, especially once Mother's Day hits, they get wiped out of that stuff. Yesterday, 
um, I pressure washed for seven hours. <laughs> my like middle of my back, like between your shoulder blades, it was like cramping up because I was um, pressure washing the pergola and everything. And I was like, I needed to call it quit in time because I was just out here like a nut, just pressure washing everything I could see. But I, I cleaned up the fountain. I didn't want to do the outside because I, I love the look of aged concrete. I like it when the moss starts growing on there, but I don't want the water itself to look swampy. So I, I pressure washed and I cleaned on the inside here and just got it uh, running again. So it just made me realize how much I miss having our fountain running because it's such a beautiful sound. But I need to get in here and like weed probably this uh, weekend because when the sun comes out like this after a long time, all those little weeds start sprouting. But I have all the peonies are starting to come up already. These are over a foot tall. Irises are popping up. These are all of my alliums, those really cool pom-pom ones that are purple. Those are so beautiful. So those are bulbs, they come back every year. And I'm just starting to get some leaves over here on the hydrangeas and the lilacs. These are all my limelights. And if you look back at my videos from the fall, these are just phenomenal color spots back here. But every year I prune them down and they just get fuller and fuller and I get so many blooms. This is such a fun variety for your garden, but I'll try to insert some videos so you can see what they look like in full glory. I got something really, really cool in the winter months and I didn't share it with you because it was winter. <laughs> so this was a garden related thing I was saving for quite a while to share with you, but um, I got this really beautiful three tiered stand over here and I got it for $35 at a garage sale. I couldn't believe it. My parents and I, when, when they first moved here, was, we went to this like farm sale and they had like a lot of horse things and actually like farm things but the mom was there selling her antiques and wares and she had this beautiful three-tiered plant stand and I was like are you kidding me it matches my peacock set here but she had just painted it black unfortunately it was white before so I'm gonna go in and, and spray it white just because I feel like the ironwork gets lost when it's dark like this and plus I want it to match my peacock set here but I had never seen the plant stand and it's so pretty. I think what I'm gonna do, I don't wanna do it this summer because it'll probably get ignored because <laughs> we're gonna be working at the beach house, but I would love to make this like kind of like a lettuce garden or like a herb garden and do different tiers of things in here. Have like all my basil and cilantro and do like different lettuces. So it'd be like a little salad situation, like a salad tiered garden. I just thought would be really cute because we don't have uh, vegetable beds or anything here in our garden. It's all flowers. And so like, I'd love to have something that was like just really easy, like little salad niblets, especially basil. I love basil everything, but I couldn't believe I got this for $35. It's such a beautiful piece. And like I said, I'd never seen one before. So I think this summer though, I will probably spray it. It might do something easy in here, like succulents, things I don't have to worry about. But eventually I love the salad garden concept. It's just too cool. Okay, I wanna show you one little thing I made and I should have sh shared it when it had prettier flowers and it's not half dead. <laughs> but this was so easy to make. I did this um, collaboration with like Krylon spray paint for Instagram and I wanted to do something that was like fun and garden inspired, but also like a really easy DIY. And I got these terracotta pots and I took an old doily and I just pinned the old doily around it with a clothespin and sprayed it with sprayed paint. And it made like the cutest little like lacy lattice design on the pot. I just thought it was so adorable, but I just, I think something like this would make a really cute gift and Mother's Day's coming up too. And in our family, rather than giving bouquets, we started giving our moms like live plants to put in the garden or like a nice hanging basket or something like that. Cause it's just, it's nice to have blooms that last a long time. But I wanted to share this with you because it would also be like a super easy, like craft idea if you have kids or if you have like grandkids and you want to do something fun and easy outside. Yeah, an old doily and some spray paint. <laughs> I did a little bit of spring rearranging here on the bookshelves because I, I don't know, my little frogs are my favorite thing probably that I've ever like thrifted and collected and they are so spring-like so I really wanted them like front and center so I arranged them all together here but one thing I am keeping my eye out for like at Goodwill uh, we were at Home Goods, and I remember last year I don't know how long you've been a subscriber but I think it was last year Pete and I um, got these at an antique mall they're like that pink chinoiserie this 
type of look to it. But I love this because it looks like a basket. It's like this beautiful porcelain lattice work. And someone had suggested that I put some kind of like topiary ball, like one of those green, like mossy balls or something. So when we went to Home Goods, I'm so cheap sometimes, you guys. We went to Home Goods and they were $19.99 for those plastic balls and I couldn't bring myself to do it. Cause I know that like, if I'm patient, I'll probably see, you know, in the fake plant department at Goodwill, they'll probably have those, you know, a lot cheaper than 20 bucks. I was like, I don't want to be $40 into like fake plastic balls. So I'm just going to wait. But I do think that would be pretty. I want to decorate that with some greenery, like on our, um, our TV console and stuff. Cause I think like the greenery with this pop of pink would be super beautiful. But I just been kind of having fun around the house this year. I haven't really gotten anything for the house besides plants just because I've been so focused on like our renovation stuff right now it's just been really fun to have something to like put my touch on and feel like that Pete and I are an old house a favor if that makes sense by like reviving some life into it and it's also a really fun spot like for me when it gets closer to decorating time to be able to decorate in a style that's so different than our Victorian house and you know I was mentioning before like I feel like I have lots of loves of different kinds of things it's not just romantic Victorian things but you know I also love more like textured and earthy things and softer tones and and natural fibers and things like that so I think with this house like I have it all like in the vision you know and I've been collecting things here and there but I also want things to be very intentional at this house and every time I'm there <laughs> I'm just like oh my gosh it's so easy to clean because it's 600 square feet it's like the tiniest little like shoe box of a house and I can mop the floors and do laundry so fast and I don't have to dust like a bunch of stuff you know it's like <laughs> there's something about like being being minimal that's like really exciting to me right now too so with things that I do bring there I'm trying to be like intentional with it and not like clutter that house up because it could easily become cluttered really fast it's so small yeah I just been kind of having fun like focusing on renovations and plant stuff right now I think that's probably why you haven't seen me like do lots of like giant thrift hauls but I will say that garage sale season is just around the corner so I'm not gonna say I won't because I will <laughs> especially now that mama is in town because we will <laughs> all right I think I'm gonna um call this a day I'm losing my voice <laughs> But I hope you had fun at the garden center and just seeing some of my garden updates right now. I'm excited, you know, as more color comes in into play back here. It becomes my little magical sanctuary back here and it's just a beautiful place to be. So I'm looking forward to doing a little garden tour here for you. And then as far as the beach house goes, I don't know how much of a, like, a garden tour that's gonna be for quite some time because it's, it's pretty ugly there. <laughs> if you haven't seen the Cabin on the Cape series, I'd like to link it up here for you or down in the description box because I created a playlist. So if you're just starting here watching my channel, you can um, see the entire playlist from when we got our little cabin to where we're at now because we're making some fun progress on it but anyhow thank you so much for watching and don't forget if you want to get some new spring pieces like I did especially pieces that you can mix and match and get more usage out of you know those pieces like that you can mix with coordinates or jeans I don't know that's just what I'm so into right now just casual comfort elegance check out thread up and you can use my code Selena for 35% off your first order and free shipping it's so awesome thank you so much for hanging out and I will see you in the next video.